Hey, what's up guys? We're back streaming with Farming Simulator, I about said 19, Farming Simulator 22. And I was thinking, I apologize I was a little late and stuff, it wouldn't be a squad stream if I wasn't late. It's always, I'm always late. But, uh, is that Buck? Buck, you there? Indeed. Okay. Hey, you want to see me jump this truck? Lizard truck? We're not even having the game launch and you already have built a ramp. <laughs> I got my helmet on, on, man. Dude, I got Come my on. helmet and goggles on for it. You ready? Oh, boy. I guess so. Hey, that's my truck. <laughs> well, I hit it. I hit the uh, I hit the jump, but not at a bunch of speed. We're going to see what it does here. Hee <laughs> Oh, nothing. Okay. Screw it. We're going to wait until the General Lee comes out to really hit some jumps. Luckily, we got helmets and stuff. Uh, the question I'm going to be wondering in the future is, like, will we, will we be able to mod characters? Because if we can mod characters in the future, that is going to be awesome. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Um, we're going to get started with some tillage. I want to test out all these big 9000 series tractors. So, like, the 9RX, 9R. Uh, Buck, you're driving the 9, the New Holland... What model is that? Nine. A, I think it's a nine T. Nine T. Now, yes, that's, yeah, nine. Oh, T nine. We don't have we don't have the uh, the case. We don't have the case uh, quad track. It kind of set. Well, it it is what it is, I guess. Uh, but we don't have the case quad track. I, all I got is a Magnum. I don't know if this has enough horsepower to pull the big. Uh, I want to call it vertical till, but they're called. Uh, High speed disc, high speed disc, the speed tiller is what Case calls them, but most people I think call them high speed disc. So we don't have enough horsepower for a Case tractor to even pull one, I don't think, unless I downgrade to like a smaller one, basically. Uh, I do want to test out the versatile tractor. I want to test out this, so we will test out that on tillage. Buck's got the new Holland. Um, I don't have the 9RT bought. We could test out a Fent. You know, I don't really test out Fents much, but. This video is all about testing out the high horsepower stuff. We did tillage last stream, and or we did harvest last stream, and we do want to. Me and Buck do want to do some hauling. We want to haul in our grain because a lot of our grains in the bins too. So we might do some trucking later on here. So I'm hoping. The one thing about these big tractors is. The articulate takes a long time getting used to, I feel like. Some people got it down, some people don't. So right now we got the Case IH speed tiller on here, the 475, which I wonder if 475 means it takes 475 horse to run it. I don't think so. It takes 550 horse. I don't know what the model number 475 actually means. How long is this stream going to be? Ah, probably like an hour. For right now, this 9RX has 620 horse. I think this required 520 horse. We're pulling her at 11 mile an hour. The animations on it, the speed tiller, looks pretty dang good. Especially the harrow in the back. The rolling basket. Oh, shoot. Next video or next stream? Probably not next stream. It'll probably be a video, but I'd like to try and customize my own farm from... Oh. oh. I missed my turnaround. I was going to say, how do you want to do this, Buck? I'm doing a headland first, and we might do some back and forth if we don't like complete it okay. in this first couple of rows. <laughs> How many acres do we have to knock out here? It's me. Where is Jake? I am not sure right now. Jake is not existent. He's probably He's away. Radar. 
Do you know we can actually make time at half speed now? I did not know that. Yeah, you can go for. They also added like one, like times two, times three, so it's like more precise. But you can also slow down time. Hmm. I, w I wish we could just do a tug of war right now. I'd really like to have a rope and chain between these tractors and see <laughs> and see how they pull. And see. I'd like to do a tug of war right now, but I guess we'll have to. We'll wait for a mod to come out, and then we'll do some tug of war between some high horsepower stuff. And now that they have the uh, actual transmission stuff of either power shift, CVTs, or just regular flat-out manual, I wonder if it'll actually affect how they pull. True, true. Because this one's got CVT, and I think those got power shifts. Yeah, because if we do a tug of war, it'd be fun to do manual. Heck, even if we have trucks in the future, truck mods, and then we have manual transmission on those, you could do a tug of war. That'd be cool. I'll let you go ahead, Buck. Glad I about thought what I was gonna say, cause I about said something that was not PG related about the end of this field. I gotta go clean up one of my uh, mess ups hmm. on the corners over here. Don't know what that other word would have been. Hard telling. <laughs> okay, let's knock out a big field here. I do want to haul some grain towards the end of this video. Uh, forty is done. Do you want to hit 41 corn stocks? I can. Ooh, actually, hang on a second. Yep. Or there we could are... or we could road down to the big field. 38, knock out 38. What do you 39? say? Or 30 39's got 30... an issue. I have no, to No, it was 33. I... So the other side. Yeah, yeah, 33. We, we can do that, but okay. actually um I gotta look in the store here. They have a roller that actually will take out the corn stalks. Thing. Really? Correct. I think so. There's a roller that'll take oh. out the corn stalks. It's it's a roller, but it's not in the roller category. I can't remember what it's called. Huh. We can uh, check that out. Mulcher. Yeah, mulchers. The mulchers will uh, crush the crop stubbles. That one you could probably use the magnum on because it only takes 150 horse. Where is the mulcher rollers, sprayers, subsoilers, spaders, disc arrows, mulchers? It's about the Diablo one or whatever it is. Diablo, I don't know what I said. You can do 11 mile an hour. It's a, huh. So it's like a chopper. Kind of just chops everything up. Huh. You ready to roll? <laughs> Hit the road? Yeah, right after I pull it in front of this car, I didn't see it. <laughs> I could try the Versatile now. We are in the 9RX. I'd like to try the Versatile here. You do that. Well, I'll go do you want to take the interstate? The I'm going to grab the 7R quick so I can go grab that roller. You can okay. take the interstate. I'm going to take the other route over here since it's kind of like on my way to the score. Okay. I'll, uh, Unless you want to follow me. Yeah, no, I'm going to grab the Versatile. So we'll switch out the Versatile here. Versatile, or I could buy a Fent, if you guys want to see a Fent on here. We could do a Fent, too. Will there be bushels for all platforms? Yes. So, all platforms will have uh, US dollars, bushels, and acres. Um, I don't think it'll have bushels. That's the one thing, because it only had liters. What? I saw in the settings, I know you were saying that yesterday, but in the settings, I saw that, uh, I swear I switched it to bushels when I was on my own save game. But for some reason, you tried switching it to bushels, and it didn't go, is what you are saying, right? Uh, I don't, well, I don't, I never saw a thing for it. I saw units, but none of them were liters or bushels. It was just huh. dollar, miles, acres. That's the only one I can think of that's close. Running, letting the diesel run out of the 9R over here, but Why? diesel ain't cheap. Well, don't quote me on it, but I thought there was bushels. There might not be bushels, guys. I thought there was. 
Maybe not yet, at least. I thought I we saw bushels in there, but me, I, I must be wrong. Um, let's buy a tractor. I was kind of wanting to buy the versatile because we never got to run it yesterday, or we could buy the Nanarty Fent. Could buy a big fan, or could buy a challenger too. It probably doesn't have enough horse. It only has 380 horse, unless I. Oh, I could upgrade. 431. I don't know if we have enough horsepower. Let's let's buy the big versatile. Six hundred and sixty five horsepower. My gosh. We're gonna purchase her. Buck, you love that seven R, don't you? I really do. I really do. You don't even have the row crop tires on it either. I honestly don't like the row crop look on this thing yet. Huh. If they had like the it's, I think it's just due to the tires that are on. I know I've never really like cared for those Telebrock tires. Mm -hmm. These thick boys always kind of looked a little bit better, in my opinion. This versatile, it sits, it just sits so wide. It's got some stance. Yeah, it doesn't have much of a row crop stance to it. It's just, it's a big boy stance. <laughs> I love seeing kinda, Buck Kind of reminds me here. of a big bud. I'm just actually kind of reminds me of a big bug because it's literally it's just a drawbar in the back. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Run at me, Buck. The hand motions. I got uh, it. Just jog. It's like the laziest jog ever. Well, the backdrop's a little bit more energetic. <laughs> real, okay, real peppy going back. Hey, come, come at me. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see. It's real. The sprint's kind of nice. The sprint's good. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Let's roll. It'll be good for roll. role play. <laughs> roll, roll tide. Oh, oh, I see how it is, Betsy. You got to get over here, don't you? Versatile cab. Pretty nice. I'm sure this is what it's like in real life. Uh, it's got to be. I've never sat in a versatile, though, so I have no idea. Okay, no, don't hit us. See, that's what's nice. And I guess 19, we would just got smashed by that car. But in uh, 22, they just stopped for us. They're nice. I about yelled at you. I was like, where on earth are your hazards with that wide monstrosity? Oh, we got them. <clears throat> Oh shoot, we're kind of split with sticks. We're between the fields. I forgot we could have gotten in over there on the on the door. I'm interested to see how this thing works. Oh, the width isn't there though. I thought there was going to be more width to it. Oh, it's taking out the grass too. That's yeah, pretty it's interesting. Taking out the it doesn't turn it black though. No, but it's taking out literally everything. Yeah, it leaves a nice finish. How fast can you go? 11. Hmm. We can kind of boogie. Did you not? Did you hit this with tillage already? No. Didn't we just put... No, the, uh, the, the field to the right, 33. Or 30... Uh, 33? 33. There's I corn stalks here, huh? There's corn stalks. Yeah, we cut this field. You wait. Do you see dirt or corn stalks on 33? Hang on, I'm making my way over there. Cause I see dirt. Maybe you see corn stalks. No, I see dirt. Okay. Maybe just left a cleaner finish on that one. I don't know. Huh. Oh, well, no, no. Somebody must have hit it with tillage. No. I think maybe when I skipped, I, guess I skipped ahead a couple days while we were off the stream, and it might have just automatically done something to it. Gotcha. Because all these weeds weren't here either. Gotcha. 
Oh, looks like you get to only do 33. Like 34? Nah. Well, we'll knock this out quick here. Here, you do that pass, and then I'll come behind you with uh, the high-speed disc. Not gonna lie. The only, the only purpose I would actually use this for right now is to mow lawns, because it actually cuts the grass. <laughs> this is like an old, old real mower. Just like, you know, 500000 more dollars. Dude, this versatile? I'm kind of liking this. It's got some play in the tires, and it just it feels so much more aggressive than the 9RX. It's got more horse, too, I think. 655 horse. I wish I'd have known this thing just cut grass, too, because I literally would have mowed the lawn, and I wouldn't have had to bail it. What we need to do is we need to make a path through one of a cornfield or so come wintertime. Get some snowmobiles in this thing. Oh, yeah. Did you know there's actually a corn maze on this map? Somebody was saying that. I think Spencer was saying that. Oh, there's a corn yeah. maze. Jake and I did it last night. We were kind of messing around over, figuring out around the map. and There's honestly some actual really nice farms. Hmm. Have you tried messing with the animals yet, Buck? Uh, the horses, they're not much different. I haven't messed with any of the cattle. Or any of those. Gosh. Takes a little bit of getting used to uh, articulate tractors. It really does. For me, at least. Well, I'm, I noticed they handle a lot better recently. Are the hazards for all platforms? Uh, yeah. Yep. They're just totally in game. Do you snowplow in the next video? To. We got to. Block you down. Next stream, I should say. Yeah. Okay, hurry it up, Buck. <laughs> you can go around me. I'm just doing this for the fun to see what it actually did. It, it leaves a nice finish. Especially if you Heck, use I it. might go. I might go mow some of the lawn with this thing at that point. Oh, yeah. Is there a lawnmower in here? There's probably there no is, right. There is, drops grass. Gotcha. It's the, it's the alpine one where you can walk behind it. It doesn't have my skid feet McGee special. Huh. I was going to say, it'd be cool if we had riding lawnmowers in this. Like, lawn lawnmowers. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, since there's nothing really else to do on this field, since you're gonna probably rip let's, that out in a couple. Pounds. Yeah, let's let's start hauling grain. If you're cool, I'll get the trucks out. What do you got for trucks? But obviously all max. Dude, when you're actually driving the man truck, though. It's it's honestly really weird because the cab has the suspension, but it like goes back and forth pretty far. So if you're going like 65 down the road and crank it left and crank it right, you your body will literally shift like two three degrees left and right. It's kind of mm. funny. I'm gonna keep this mulcher at the farm though. Kind of like it. Yeah, can you show all the cars and pickups? Yep. I gotcha. There's not too much oh, to... All two of them. Yeah. There's a 2017. There's an 86. This is like it. Obviously, we have the John Deere UTV, uh, Mahindra UTV. And then for trucks, me and semis, we got the man and we have three different Macs. In my opinion, the oldest Mac is the favorite. Maybe it's not even the oldest, but this is my favorite truck. It's got a couple cool designs here, too. Uh, there's some newer Macs in here, too. Designs, so you can do day cab, sleeper, fairing, sleeper 70 too. And they got the anthem. Uh, the anthems, they don't have as much horsepower. Oh no, you can really crank up the horsepower. What about the, this is 500 horse, okay. Okay, we're going to keep rolling with tillage here, finish this stuff up, and then uh, I think we're going to start trucking. I 
I literally until lawnmowers come out, I'm just gonna be mowing my lawn with the mulchers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm cutting it with a real mower. It's like a massive oversized reel. I think on this first towel, I don't think there's even a, there's probably not a three point or PTO that you can get on it. Nope. Nope. It's just straight. We found that one out. Yeah, I said we found that one out the hard way. Yeah. Somebody needs to do, which I probably could learn how to do it eventually, is take one of those, like the Demco green cards, and make it so it has like a hydraulic style of auger. Hmm. So basically, don't run off the PTO. It's a hydraulically one, which that's kind of iffy, but eh, it works. Yeah, a lot of people are wanting the 4755. I'll uh, I'll buy it quick. I'll buy it quick and show you guys it. I think somebody was using it yesterday uh, on one of our streams. Maybe it was those, yeah. Maybe the 7810. Yeah, it don't have two-wheel drive. No two-wheel drive. Would Nor be. does it have the American duels. It has clamp duels. Still a good looking tractor, just yeah. That one's some more focused does on it, an EU looking one. Does it have front weights to it? I don't. Yes, I think you can at least make it somewhat look American. The the most American tractor that you can get right now, at least that I've seen, is this 7R. Like yeah. literally the rotor with the with the hub duels in the back. Most American. Yeah. That's the reason I'm using it. Oh, that would have been an expensive fix. Oh, it took T9 about took a bail spike straight to the sidewall of a tire. And we're done. Okay, we're going to fold up and jump in a truck here. Let me kind of get these tractors out of the way since they're in the line of fire. You know how uh, people usually do New Year's resolutions, Grant? Yeah. I think you should make one for you in this game. <laughs> no, Putting I'm trying stuff to... away after you take a thumbnail. <laughs> that is true. You guys don't see that side. I take a thumbnail and I'm like, okay, let's go. Let's get recording. Better just lays there. For like, hey, just put it in the. We need to make a yard of shame. Bring back uh, Lincoln Creek. I really do like on this map a lot of the creek crossings. Missouri Creek crossings. They're cool. Okay. We're rolling back to the farm that Buck made. This is technically Buck's map. So, thank you, Buck, for letting us play on your map. And uh, we're going to haul some right. grain for him. Or his, his, uh, right. his save game, I should say. The fact that I can be in neutral and the tractor will move forward is probably not a good thing because I have it in manual. That's, mm -hmm. that's one, I think that's one of the only bugs that I've seen so far is... 8RX. Is not is, anything. Oh, sorry. Huh? There is an 8RX. Everybody's asking about that. There is an 8RX. I think we were using that in your first stream, weren't we? Because that was the one that was on your we, map. Been, yeah, yeah, used. you're right, you're right, we were. What were we doing? We are in the first stream. Uh, we were on your map, literally, I think, just driving around. Oh, yeah. Because we didn't do the harvest stuff. We were, we were setting the farm up, or we were doing stuff around the farm. That's right. Okay, Buck, where do you want the big versatile? Uh, probably just kind of roll them in. Well, uh, maybe south side of the farm. South side? I got to figure out which way is south. That take way the, is take the road that comes around. Take the road that comes down the left side of the farm. Yeah, like, no, I'm here at the mind. farm. Just back uh, behind the. Uh, basically, just go through the creek crossing and pass it through those fields. Because otherwise, we already That's have enough you... stuff laying in the yard. Okay. Do you have a uh, truck's load, or we need to load those? No, I'm just now getting in the truck. Okay. Kind of be careful around in here, though. It does get rather tight on the corners. 
We did uh, kind of make the mud corners, though, so your trailer lines will line up with those dirt marks when you turn. Sweet. That's courtesy of Jake for throwing well, out that little What little detail. semi do you want me to take? They're both max, and I left you the one with the, the bald eagle screaming on the side, so... Ooh. Here's the real kicker. Can you take Do we take it out of the... Huh? Sorry, some guy's asking if you can take the three-point off the 4755. I the front three-point, I assume you're asking. So here we go. We got the 4755. Uh, uh, no, no, you cannot. You know what? The thing that looks most like the Firestones is the Vertistine. Vertistine tire. I'd say that looks the most... Or, or Continental. Continental's got the... Yeah, that looks... Oh, that looks pretty good. Um, shoot, you can't take off the three point. No, on the on the four seven fifty five, you can't. Obviously, okay. that one's more focused towards I think European. Yeah, I I on the American side, I like the three point in the back, but it's just on the front three point. Yeah, you can't take it off, unfortunately. You know what? I'm gonna buy this tractor because I've never driven it. I want to hear what it sounds like. We have one in the shed. Oh. <laughs> Well, I just spent 115 grain on one. Hey, y'all, the deer are jumping. Buck, the deer are coming towards you. You see them? No, those aren't synced, sadly. Oh. He's Look at that park job. You just ran by it. It's tucked uh, in the corner. It's, it's under oh the pipe. Oh, my gosh. Barely saw <laughs> it. Look at that Jenga move right there. Sounds good. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't take off the three-point on the 47. It does, uh, like, foot pedals, all that, even the power shift transmission over here. I mean, you can see it moving stuff, so. Here's the real kicker. Yeah. Do we take the grain out of the bin setup over there, or the auger one over here? Ooh. Because we got grain in both of them. Let's, uh, we'll try the auger first, how about? I think I can just press R, can I? Yes, I can. Aha. I'm, uh... Oh, we got a little bit of soybeans and corn in this one. Do we want to take corn or do we want to take uh, soybeans? Let's haul some corn first. There he goes. It's unloading. Do you want me to take the uh, side dump? Uh, you can. Or did you Remember, have it doesn't haul much. Did, yeah, do you have another trailer? Uh, yeah, it's around the corner on the other side. I'm already gotten my load in, though. Okay. What? Wait. We got 100,000 liters of corn. And this thing can hold about oh, what, there it 40, is. 2,000? Yeah, I kind of snuck him in back yeah, there. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where that was. Do you go into the house? Uh, Buck, can you? No. Yeah, nope. you can't, unfortunately. You just go to the blue trigger and it says, hey, let's sleep. Did they ever fix the skid steer? Yes. Well, yes and no. It handles better. I don't know if it actually does the whole wobble thing, though, when you get on the trailer. You might want to do your tarp. Uh, yes. Heck, I'm going to... Buck, you care if I buy a skid steer quick? I'm going to try it. I'm going to test it. Uh... Got eight million dollars to go through. Track. I don't care. Let's do tracks because usually the tracks are the rougher driving ones. They're just tougher to drive in farm sim. Usually, they still turn the same. That's one thing. Where? They seem to handle a little better. Mm-hmm. You know what we should do, Buck, is uh, forestry. Mm. I don't know if they have... Uh, well, what do they got in here? Is there a seed tender in the game? Or do we have to haul pallets of it? 
Uh, I will check right now. I don't think we actually have one this time around. Seed tender. It'd be an auger wagons if we did. It's on miscellaneous. They do have Thunder Creek, which is cool. Um, I think the last one was in auger wagons. Auger. But I don't think we have one this time around, sadly. Yeah. There isn't. I don't think. Unless we're missing it, but I don't think there is. Hmm. There is some cool low loaders. That's why I noticed. They got a Demco uh, low loader for a semi, and then they also have another one. It's a different brand. Load, Load King. Load King. But the only thing is, like, they don't have one for a combine. Like, the if you want to do some combine hauling or some big machinery, machinery hauling that's wide, you can't fit it on these. The nice thing about these is they they strap down great, too. I might try and put the trail techs in. That might be one of the first trailers I do, since that's fairly simple. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because that's the trailers I had at the dealership. That big, long, wide body. I can definitely tell the Skid Sears handle a lot better. Yeah. They look a little more detailed, too, especially the tracks. Um, okay. Are you already on the road, Buck? I got your truck loaded. Okay, I'm gonna follow you. Let's do, uh, I gotta, I gotta set it to manual here. I think Buck has the shifter and steering wheel at his home right now. I, I'm just keyboard and mouse. Oh boy. Hey, did anything change on the dog? I did not check. Uh, can we buy a dog? Again. Go for it, I don't care. <laughs> Animal, you do not have. Okay, you see what I mean by the the wheels are not spinning right. It's doing the whole slippage thing. Go. Well, now it's got to get it to hook, otherwise it'll. See how it's one spinning backwards, the other one's going forwards. Yeah, I mean maybe maybe they made that on purpose so that obviously you want a little slippage at the start for realistic, but maybe they did that on purpose because they have to have one wheel going backward backwards to animate slippage. If that makes sense. Yeah, but I don't think... I mean, we're on asphalt. We shouldn't be slipping. True. Not this bad. I mean, I, I'm full throttle, and I'm... That's... <sighs> yeah, it is almost like... I don't think it's supposed like to have that much. Though. True, true. It's kind of... I, I like it. Um, I gotta buy a dog quick. I gotta buy a dog. Oh. Where? Oh, where? Oh, we did not... Is my hairbrush? Oh, I am trying to get over this hill. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, uh, Buck. Oh my God, you're gonna kill me. I put. I placed a doghouse in the middle of the road over here. All we'll we'll get rid of them. Rex. It's been three years since I've seen you, buddy. Does he do anything different? Come on, Rex. Okay, so pet is R. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Did you used to be able to pet him in 19? I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, so he rolls over this time. Awesome. <laughs> Improvements. Then... Oh, Rex. Rex, no. Rex, come back here. So he'll follow you. He should follow you. Okay, he went into your house. No, he's okay. coming. He's coming. Come here, Rex. All right, we actually can go down because there's a baseball field on this map. Take the interstate down to... That's cool. I like that. And then you should be able to feed them, too. So if I go over to feed, fill bowl. Oh, yeah. There he goes. We'll feed him. We'll see you later, Rex. Read some books. Can you show the Kinsey Planner? Yes, that's one thing I've been wanting to see. Uh, yes, once we're done trucking, I'd like to get the Kinsey Planner out. I actually know there's a lake on this map. It's not very big, but there's actually like a little recreational area. Well, let's go to there's the lake. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where we need to go for grain price. I haven't seen any of that stuff yet. Uh, we are Holland Kern. 
Best place to sell right now is Gold Crest Valley, which is basically the train stations. <clears throat> but we're not really horribly short on money. Of which Gold Crest Valley. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's down there. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to get there. Manual shifting on console? They'll have manual shifting. I am not sure how it's like. How it's going to go down, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah, they will have manual shifting. Okay, Buck. Let's roll. We're getting there. All right, Stacy, make up your mind over here. Are you going to turn or not? Oh, they got into a car wreck. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Did they actually? Well, one of them's just kind of sitting there. Huh. There we go. Okay. What is this, I-80? I-35? We're headed to Nebraska. And if you look off to your right, you'll see Elm Creek Town Population 500. Oh, she bogged down on that gear shift. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. I do notice that the mirror placement's a lot better now. Yeah. And you can yeah, actually see how the mirrors... Was that, could you see how the mirrors in 19... Yeah, you could, but they weren't, like, rotated correctly. Gotcha. I think we were supposed to get off there. I don't really <laughs> know. Uh, maybe, It goes maybe by too not. fast. Oh, that's oh. right. Oh, my gosh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, I found the end of the map, laddies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you get turned around, Buck? Yes, I'll have to turn around on the state trooper well, lot the, here. Well, the, the, the brakes uh, work pretty good. Uh, and the wise words of one of the, I can't remember if it was Jeremy Clarkson or James May, but he's like, no, it's, I think it's Jeremy. Uh, yeah, speeding isn't what kills you. It's the suddenly stopping. That's what gets you. Watch out. There's a car. Oh, she's stopping for you. Yeah, uh, really nice. Are we taking this right? Okay. Yeah. Put the blinker on. You want to play ball, Buck? Uh, are we going straight through Elm Creek? Uh, I think we're going to be taking... Oh, hello. Oh, my gosh. So much for cars not hitting you. I think we're going... Okay, do you see that little depot thing on there on the right? It's like the two blue dots. Uh, what's that? It's on right the map. Next to on the, the map. Silos. No, on the silos over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where we're I going. I think that's where we're supposed to head. Okay. Yeah. I do like the town. Oh my gosh. Control yourself, dang it. So I think that's supposed to be like a minor league baseball team over there. That's the, I can't make it to the MLB, but I played, I played in college. <laughs> Division three. Uh, let's see here. This truck's got one really, really, really good back window, though, for the glass. Like, if you look behind you in the interior, it's got a massive glass, as you can see out. What's up with this this ramp here for the map? You think that? It's a little steep. It would that's be fun the, to jump with was, the General Lee. Let's say that's what Jake said is the don't take a trailer over this at fast speed huh. bridge. Uh, oh, so that was the train track, so we should be pulling through here and dumping. If I yes. Either way, we're going to be selling grain, so it doesn't really matter if it's the right one completely or not. Uh, always waiting on the trucks. <laughs> so 
Start unloading. Oh, and the cranks actually work on this now to open the doors. Heck, I think you might be able to unload uh, both of them at the same time. Nah. No? Nah, at least so. Oh, we're rolling back. Oh, we killed it. Doesn't help when you're starting in 13th gear, though. These unload pretty quick. You had a full hopper, right? Yeah, full trailer. Yeah. Now, does the more corn being sold drive down the price of corn? I wonder. I guess I we need to check. I'll, I'll try and check here before Buck uh, unloads. If I can get up the ramp. <laughs> Give her, Buck. Give her. There we go. Get in the fourth. Oh. There we go. There you go. Hold on, don't, uh, don't sell feet if you can hold up for a sec. Uh, what place are we at? We might be just at the grain mill. Let's check here. We are at Grain West Silo. Grain West Silo. Oh, that was wheat, corn. Which I'm assuming because that's Goldcrest Valley. You think it's, do you think that's where we're selling it? Yeah, because Goldcrest Valley is the train tracks. Okay, so 13, 13, 1,300 bucks and 13, uh, 13 dollars here. Okay, go and sell. Let's see what it does. Are there any mods? No, there are no mods out right now. Buck might be one of the first guys to release a mod. Monday, when Giants Editor comes out, Buck's going to start working on some mods. There's probably going to be a lot of other guys that work on mods too, but Fun we're going to... Oh, good. Uh, 82 Studios, David, he's already got his Phoenix converted over. Like really? He's already working on that, yep. Okay, so Buck Clutches. won't be the first. Nope. I about tried to get my Trans Am over it, but it, it didn't, sadly. We didn't get the General Lee. I'm thinking about it because that one doesn't have many components that I can, I would need to have. Okay, let's truck back. I do want to see, because this might be the last stream before we start going to video, so I do want to see if there's anything that we need to check out that we're completely missing as far as like equipment and features of the game. We could see if we place a tree if it is cut downable. True. Let's okay. Let's make the AI workers go back to your farm and then maybe place down some trees. Mess with trees quick. Uh. I get it set on the AI. I'll do my AI if you want to do yours. He's going. There he goes. Thanks, Bobby. What the? He's trying to find the road. <laughs> Buck, you got your AI? Got okay. Him. Hopefully. There he goes. Daryl. Come on, Tim. Come on, Timothy. <laughs> He's spinning. Yeah, I see what you mean. One of them's going in reverse. There's the problem. He literally can't go. I'll just drive him back. Okay. I'll uh, place some trees at the farm quick then. Uh, oh, that's why. There's Rex. 
Uh, Buck, do you have a certain spot you want me to place the trees? Like in the back somewhere? Ah, uh, probably. Okay. Uh, we'll go... It'd be construction. Uh, not landscaping. Farmhouses, tools. Containers, silo sheds, production. Oh, I can see Daryl. I'm creeping up on him. Why am I missing the trees? Are you looking in the store? Yeah. It's not the store. Not in the store, sorry, but the construction. Go to the yeah, go to the three lines. Constru it'd be construction. Construction. And then go to decoration. No, not not decoration. Landscaping. Landscaping oh, trees. Makes sense. Okay, let's see if we can't place these. Uh, we'll place down a couple. Actually, place down on that left side, the big lot that I have on the left. Like, I know you already placed a few, but it's yep. fine. That big lot on the left we own. Is there a passenger script in the game? Uh, nope. no, there's not. Skid steer on trailer. I can try a skid steer on trailer here. I can't promise it, but I'll try try and get one on trailer. Uh, everything is strappable, which is pretty darn cool on the equipment trailers. Not strappable, but it just it it straps down. There's no animation of it, but it's still it's still locked. The tiny down. little mower actually does. Huh. Like the little mower, it shows the strap going over the top. Uh sorry, Buck, where do you want me to put these again? That big lot that's to the left right to the right of the house. Like, it's literally just an open grass field. Yep. Oh, right out front. Gotcha. We do have, we already have a chainsaw for just. It would be fun trying to process these trees here. Uh, we'll get. Yes, we can if you place this one right here. Does it cut? Yes, it does. Ooh. Oh, this is what you meant by the lot. Sorry about that. I placed it in your front yard over there. Oh. <laughs> so these ones are the ones you placed? Yeah, yep. Well, I guess there's a better time than ever. Just... Plus, we can get the stem right here out. Are you really that stumped, though? They cut. They cut. Yes, and they do. Uh, yeah, heck. I'll take this in my... That cuts, too. Oh, that's oh, going to play on what? the bins. That's going to I might hit the bins set up. There you go. Um, I'm intelligent. Let's cut, it. Let's cut it the correct direction this time. Okay, Buck, I'm going to go grab two skid loaders for both me and you. I'll be right back. I'm going to start cutting the logs to length. Do you have problems like with a semi oversteering, uh, with a steering wheel? Because on keypad, I I have horrible problems of oh. always oversteering. Oh, uh oh. Oh. Yeah. This tree just just refuses to fall. Okay, let's roll. Uh. There it goes. Do you want wheeled or tracked, Buck? No matter. Okay.
Have you tried buying animals? Uh, we haven't. Uh, the only animal we bought is Rex, the dog. Did we just pass? Oh, we passed a lot. Okay, so the number one asked question is going to be, can you get mods on console? No. You can... Uh, well, you can kind of get mods on console. I think it'll be the same as FS19, where you can get some mods that are on the mod hub, but you can't get every single mod that you'll see on these videos or on PC. You have to get a PC to be able to get like all the insane, crazy mods that we use, if that makes sense. Um, we're going to get a... Low loader. We don't need to get one that big. Uh, on. Wait a second. That'll work. You figuring out something over there, Buck? No, it tells you the weight of the log, and I want to see how much Farmer Joe over here can actually lift. This man's <laughs> deadlifting. Uh, skid loader tools. We'll go... Brush. This man... <laughs> Hold on. This man is this okay. Farmer Joe's pretty uh, pretty strong. He's able to pick up this log. That's 158 kilograms. That's What's that's that? a solid 350 pounds. Is he curling it? Oh no, he just he can, he can yeet that sucker too. Hmm. So if, uh, is there actually Farmer a Joe's lifting animation, or is he just is it just like 19? No, it's it's just like 19, but it shows you the mass of the log you're trying to pick up. Gotcha. Like I got one on here. It's like 214 kilograms. So that's probably like what 400 pounds. If I cut it in half, he'd be yeah. able to pick it up. Cut a uh, cut a big log, and we'll uh, we'll lift it with the skid steer because I got, I got a brush grapple. So we'll see how much it can lift. That's what, you know, that's what I'm saying. Is I already got a I got okay. my pile started. Okay, moment of, oh, moment of truth, if the skid steer can actually climb the ramp skid. Here we go. In 19, there was a little issue. That was nice. That was smooth. Uh, we'll grab another skid steer. So as for skid steers, uh, we only have New Holland. In 19, did we have JCB? Or maybe the, the skid, the skid steer you see right now is the exact same ones from nineteen. They didn't change those. Gotcha. Which is not bad. They're not bad skid steers, but I would have liked to have seen maybe. Uh, even if they got deer now, if they had one of the steer series, but yeah, New Holland cool. ones. Will... Actually, I'm surprised they didn't get Case because those two are fairly buddy buddy. Yeah. It all works out in the end. Two hundred and twenty five kilograms cannot lift that. Okay, so for straps, we'll hit L and you'll see those skid steers just kinda sit down and they'll lock down on the trailer there. Well they should. Yeah, they did. Oh. Which is gonna be nice for hull and stuff. Uh I really was dumb when I cut this part of the tree. It just fell right in the middle of the road, so we kind of have to clean it up. I don't know why, but this kind of very low key reminds me of like a Thomas and Friends thing. Oh no, the tree's falling across the tracks. We need to get that fixed. Don't know why. Hi, bud. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's coming quick. We made it. Oh, nice. You know what? The, I think the yard actually looks better with these trees. I kind of like them. Oh, so now you like trees and yards. I, I've always liked trees and yards. Well, I like the ugly bush in the yards. <laughs> okay, <my> bushes, <laughs> especially the ugly ones. Can't have too much of them. That was not an ugly bush. It was a great looking bush. 
It was the best bush. Logs are not stacking half bad. I think we gotta do some logging. Get a big crew on here. Do some logging. That was literally how, in FS17, how, like, got a big push, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, when we started doing logging, I think me and Spencer, and then we just had a bunch of people join in. We did a lot of wood chipping right when FS17 came out. Um, how much do each of those weigh, Buck? Averaging around one, probably somewhere around 110. Per kilograms, about 200 pounds. Hang on, I can, I, I say, I can pick, the only one I can't pick up is. Oh. See if you can't kind of grab that. Use your grapple. Mm. Gosh. Problem is that it's not like yeah. picking up one massively long log. I'm just kind of stacking. Okay, them. I'm gonna try and grab them all at the same time here. Uh, it, I can't promise much. Eh. Gosh. Take the log. What the? Hold on. Take that log. Can we get two in here? Even. I can't even get two in here. Gosh darn it. Back up. There we go. Here we go. Let's get two at least. Okay, we can't get... Well, we can't get two. Sir, have you tried turning off and turning back on your router? <laughs> Come on. Dude. Okay, we can get two in here. I know we can. What the heck? Buck, challenge for you. Can you get two logs in the grapple? Go. You got 30 seconds. Buck, buck, buck. Got to figure out my controls here. I can't. I could maybe try shoving one in by hand or something. I'm on you. Oh, that might do it. That might do it. You got it, you got it. No, yes. There you go. And second. Come here, you. Come here, you. We're going to spend all night trying to get two logs in the uh, grapple here. So much, I got to hit so many more buttons to move back and forth because of the. That angle. has to do it. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Gosh, I can't... I don't think you can fit two logs in there. Um, I do need to show the Kinsey planters. We're going to go do that. Buck, you keep trying on it. <laughs> we'll get this eventually. So this is a, there's a 3665 blue drive and there's a 4905. I'd assume this looks to be like a 12 row planter. 30 inch rows. And then this uh, 4905, I guess, is a 24. We're going to get both of them here. Uh, heck, that might be a 16. <laughs> One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Yeah, 16. So if that's a 16 row, then this is 24 row. Hey, turn around. You got it. Um, and then this looks like a 24 row. Nice. Oh, you got it. Come here, you. 
They, they, stay. There you go. Okay, let's go check out those uh, Kinsey planners here. Uh, so 24 row planner and then a 16 row. They're both center fill. Um, both of them are 30 inch rows. They don't have Yeah. Wait, no. Hold on here. This would be, uh, no, this would be 15. So this is 15 inch for beans. So you can run beans on these. Should be able to plant uh, 15 inch spacing here between your rows. And then this would be just a 30 inch row planter. I do like how they actually went to 3D treads on everything this time around. Yeah, that's Instead nice. of that normal mapping. Which it obviously saves space, but it it, it just kind of looked. And then deer, like cool. the seventeen seventy five would be a. That's a thirty inch. A, that's an eight. That's a sixteen row planner, isn't it? It's a twenty four, I think. Twenty four. Yeah, twenty four, but it's thirty inch rows. So the Kinsey, you can get uh, fifteen inch rows on it. But anyways, guys, I I think this is gonna be the end of the stream. I just wanted to do another stream tonight. Uh, to get one out. Tomorrow, most likely, we'll have a video. Tomorrow or Monday, I'll have a video of actually trying to build out a farm, like a good farm. So we're going to try and do that, try the landscaping tool, try to build something nice, I'm hoping. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, seriously, thanks for hanging out tonight. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks to Buck for jumping on here. And, hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye.